It's no secret that TikTok has become one of the biggest drivers of viral hits in the last year, something we've covered in the past. But how do you make the perfect song for TikTok? Here at Genius, we've noticed our top songs chart populated with all kinds of tracks thanks to the app. Everything from Mariah Carey's 2009 cut, Obsessed, Are you so obsessed with me? Boy, I wanna know. to newer tracks like Lil' Keed's HBS, Hood, baby, she, whoa, whoa. And Enelie Chapa's Shot of Flow 3 have all found success on the app thanks to a series of dances, challenges, and just random videos. As TikTok continues to churn out a seemingly mixed bag of songs onto its For You page, we looked at what all these songs had in common. A song that's good for TikTok is something that's like easy, that expresses like a short kind of feeling, or something that's easy to act out or dance to. That's Taylor Lorenz, a technology reporter at the New York Times who's written extensively about TikTok. In July, Lorenz reported that TikTok, quote, boasts 1.2 billion monthly users globally, making it potentially bigger than Instagram, which reported 1 billion monthly users in 2018, and a viable competitor to YouTube and Facebook. So much of TikTok is participatory in nature, so it's like a great TikTok video is something that is funny and engaging, but also that you feel like you can put your own riff on. Take for example, 3 Black's All Talk. The song's lyrics are pretty much just about shooting people, but a few of those lines in particular have caught people's ears. And according to Lorenz, that's all it takes. There's four niggas walking up and it's just me. Now it's just three. Now it's just two. Now it's just me. Hey, there's four niggas walking up and it's just me. Now it's just three. Now it's just two. And that's just me. Hey. They're like shooting things around them, but it's like, like an audio way to express, I guess, things going away that then you can kind of like, you know, replicate. Tracks like All Talk are attractive to users because the lyrics give people something to physically act out in clips. The best like videos, they, they kind of have directives in the sense that like you're, you're acting out like some part of the lyrics or you're using the lyrics to kind of express something. The same goes for E40's 2014 track Choices, which blew up on the app five years later thanks to its own super straightforward lyrics. Ever told on a nigga? Nope. Ever squeezed a trigger? Yep. Ever set a nigga up? Nope. Ever helped a brother out when he was down on his yep. luck? Yep. Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. But even with songs whose lyrics don't necessarily give you anything to act out, users are quick to associate certain types of videos with certain songs. If you think of these like object labeling memes where you're like labeling everything and that's like, those are like the visual versions of like TikTok sometimes where TikToks are like using this like audio to like tell a story or like tell, a tell something happening. <laughs> The most popular songs on TikTok range from pop to rock to hip hop music. And oftentimes the artists behind the songs don't have anything to do with whether or not it blows up. What matters most is whether the track is catchy or interesting enough to build a video around. There's a lot of like great songs, but they don't have that one lip that makes something like easy to meme. <laughs> Hyping a song's popularity online to make it a hit on the charts is nothing new, and dates back to Soulja Boy's own viral hit, Crank That. TikTok is just today's version of that, and some brands have even caught on to the marketing plan. Elf Cosmetics enlisted singer-songwriter Il Wayno to create their own branded musical content to live on TikTok, with the Eyes, Lips, Face Challenge. Do that thing with your eyes. Money, look. Let me see them lips. Mm -hmm. and give me bass. There definitely are artists that are very adapt at the internet and kind of like think about the shareability of, of you know, their content and their music. And so, you know, maybe that will be something that will just be like more top of mind. Whether or not users realize it, TikTok has already started changing how people listen to music too. It gives users a reason to focus more on what sound bites and songs are best for memes. I think like when I listen to songs now, I definitely like listen for clips and I think it's like improved, at least for me, like my like audio library where I like, associate different songs with different things or I'm always trying to think of like a good song to match some video that I think of. And it might just be the start of a new wave of how people consume music. I'm Tia with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music. Mm -hmm.